This Pitch Breakfast video is brought to you by Spangler and Agins, attorneys for Charlotte's startup community. My name is Tony Scotto DiCarlo and my company is Tiptopia. We're committed to increasing tips for hotel housekeepers and collecting hotel big data. I'll cut to the chase. It's an app that allows guests at hotels to leave a tip for the housekeeping at any hotel. Leave a tip, rate their stay, and get a business receipt. 64 to 74% of guests want to leave a tip for those housekeepers are doing a great job for them, but they're finding more and more hard to, harder to do. Who carries cash anymore? Everybody's trying to do things uh, by mobile, and they want a receipt. They can get it reimbursed or, uh, for tracking. And the problem doesn't just lie with the tippers. On the hotel side, competitive pressure from Airbnb and uh, the like are, are making my data, or this data, just what they want to retain and gain hotel uh, stay loyalty. And the, um, yeah, there's more to that slide. I can't remember. So <laughs> there we go, and now I know. Then there's a lot of, uh, and, and there's a lot of momentum at the highest level. So they, what we found is also they're really excited about actually getting tips, to, more tips to the, to the housekeepers. And again, there's more momentum. All right, so how, what's the market? Our total addressable market is everybody that stays at a hotel. It's estimated to be over a billion people or stays. Just the business trips alone are 465 million, million in two, uh, 2016 for one to four night stays. How does that translate to value? Well, we charge, a, a, there's a 10% fee, and let's, let's, we know that 70% of the people want to leave a tip, and that's everyone. Let's just focus on the business travelers, and let's just say 1% of them want to leave a tip. At $5, that's $2.3 million in net revenue. There's value to be had. So how do we scale? For the tipper, we wanted to make sure there was absolutely zero barrier to entry. They download the app, and they use it at any hotel. These are the people who are going to help us grow exponentially. For Tiptopia, we get an alert every time a new hotel is uh, a tip is done for a new hotel. It prompts us to deliver uh, a check and the breakdown by room by uh, day. After that, the tip, the breakdown, and the uh, the survey information is delivered by online and through uh, EFT, electronic funds transfer. So the best way for us to advertise is in the room, at least for initial ramp up. And that's why we're already talking to hotels, hospitality management companies, and key card uh, advertisers. Who's our competition? Everybody trying to get into or break into the tipping market is doing person to person, and it just doesn't work for the housekeeper tipping. With Bravo, you have to get this close to the maid to leave a tip. With Zip Tip, you've got to print off a reel of QR codes and do some sort of complex exchange uh, to get the tip. We're the only people going after this particular market in a way that provides no barrier to entry for the tipper. Who's the team? Uh, Matthew Hilchey, 15 years in IT, a pulse on IT and big data. We're lucky to have him with us. Mike Scotto DiCarlo, I love him like a brother. He is a um, uh, <laughs> serial entrepreneur and I'm just excited to be working with him again. And me, Tony Scotto DiCarlo, I'm the president uh, I've uh, got 20 years in IT, I've got two vertical market software companies under my belt, but what's more important is that I'm passionate about this. I, it's, it hits all the right buttons. I've got, um, it's a great opportunity, it's a business opportunity, it's a great opportunity, and, it, and it's a chance to do something good at the same time. So what are we looking for? Uh, we're looking for $500,000 for accelerated, uh, for, so accelerate development, salaries, and marketing, 30, 30, 33, 33, 33 and to complete the, the app. Uh, give us 14,000 users, 1 million in gross revenue, and a $10 million valuation, valuation, which we think. So what is probably, I believe, we've discovered the biggest and the best way to get into the tipping market and own it. And it's a blind spot to our competitors. We're looking for the right people to join our team and make some great things happen. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I watched it sit three times and didn't figure that out. <laughs> um, I, I enjoyed your enthusiasm and, yep. and passion. 
Uh, even when you forgot part of that slide, you didn't get rattled, you just kind of rolled uh, with it. That's very important, I think, for, for anybody who's ever done anything, uh, for whether it's an investor pitch uh, or, or presentation. So commend you uh, on that. Um, so yes, like I said, your passion comes across. Uh, I think there were a couple of, of quick things. Um, you talk about how uh, you would pay the hotel. Um, and so talk, uh, meaning uh, tip is generated on the app, uh, and then you would, right. uh, pass along to the hotel or pass along to their, their housekeeping staff. Yes, that's exactly, yeah, that is, the, that, is the, that is the mode of delivery. Okay. Yeah, so, um, uh, so a tip comes in first time, we distribute the funds with a breakdown. After that, we coordinate electronic funds transfer and then online to break down the tips in the future. How easy does that integrate with the existing hotel system? Um, and is it integrated with their existing payroll system as, as to how they get it to the employees? You know, I, so the, the, hotel, the hotels are uh, not centrally managed. They're managed at the, the hotel level. And so I, at first I thought this is going to be, this is going to be my biggest problem. These guys aren't going to want to do this extra work. And uh, as soon as I mentioned that to anybody I talked to, they're like, oh, that's not that's not a problem. It's not about integration with the system. It's not about that. They're not. It, this is this 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 doesn't last a second. So um, it doesn't. We don't have integration. We're thinking about it. Uh, we don't have integration. This is all a manual process that they have to do. That seemingly nobody cares about at this point. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how that actually plays out. I know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, so very good job on the presentation. I, I also loved the enthusiasm. Okay. Uh, um, uh, I, I seem nervous. I didn't realize I, I was enthusiastic. No, no, no it was no. It, I, I I thought it came across as enthusiastic. So um, uh, I love the I love the focus on the team. Right. So I, again, I'm a big believer in you know right. the reason why early stage investors care is because the the team has convinced them that they can actually. You know, get it done. I, I had to convince these guys to join me for free. Right. So yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> um, so so. You know, I, I you you started in your introduction. You talked about you know that you 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 had two things that you were a company actually did right that it increased tips for the housekeepers right which is a good thing, yeah. um, and most importantly for the hotels who you're partnering with to get this done, it it gathered data. Yeah. Right. Um, you didn't come back to that during yeah. your presentation. I was, I was hoping for five minutes. I was hoping, right, I was hoping that, that you guys would just think, wow, this data is unbelievable. Right. And then that would just be enough. So the big missing piece, because again, I think your, your, your customer acquisition model, right, is through the hotels. Yes. And uh, therefore, why do they care? Right. Why do the hotels care? And the hotels right. care because I think you're gathering some data they can then use to, uh, you know, to have right. better service. Exactly. That's right. Um, Why would they help us deliver the tips? Right. That's right. Thank you. And, and I've got more, but I'll let Mark talk first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, just to dig in on that, because I, I, I'm, I'm in the same spot Dan is. Uh, this might sound a little bit like one of those talent shows where I tell you you're not good at singing a ballad, but you're, you, the five minute pitch format for you is going to be challenging because you, your brain is, you're like this, right? I, uh, I can feel it. That's the energy that, that we all sensed. Right. Yeah. It's really hard to deliver that much content in five minutes. Yeah. So you've got to pick your shot yeah. and hit your shot, I see. right? I see. So your shot is either um, I've figured something out and I want to test that. Yeah. And I need a half a million dollars from you to do that. And here's my test and here's what I'm going for. The data part of this equation might be the 25, 30, 50 million dollar idea. But I, I don't know if that's your shot. So I'm not trying to judge whether or not that's the play. But I would yeah. pick one of these things and I would focus on it. Um, the five minute format, which is really awesome here and entertaining for all these people watching you kind of squirm in front of the, you know, the group, um, yeah. is most relatable in the real world. And I've done this before and I've failed at it first to succeed is like if you're out and about at trade shows or industry events, right, you're mostly going to find finance, banker, uh, investor types there kind of trolling for ideas. You need to kind of find that five minute pitch there so you can get the follow up call or meeting. So I think that's the most relatable and translatable mm -hmm. lesson from these five minute pitch breakfasts is if you're really getting meetings, it's an hour to you know, 45 minutes to an hour meeting, 30 minute meeting if you're not doing a great job and the investor's like, hey, I gotta go. <laughs> so I would like try to hone your message on, here's the one thing I want to do to set the hook to right. get the hour meeting. Yeah. And that's just more my general kind of read on the pitch breakfast format. But I think you need to be especially uh, aware of too much information is gonna kind of get people to shut down a little bit. And, and when, where Dan went was where my head went, which is like, what is this really here? Is this a data play? 
is this a transactional model play where there's lots of tips, little bit of revenue coming in from a billion transactions? I was a little bit like, okay, yeah. does Tony really get that? And so when, when I'm questioning if you get that, I'm worried about execution risk on this first cut of the prototype and whether or not you're gonna go, just shoot for the wrong target and we're gonna burn a half a million bucks shooting for what sounds like a big target, but when we should have been figuring out you know, what's the quickest way to get human beings like me, business travelers, to download your app and say, yeah, I love this, right? And then get addicted to the good feeling of, this is easy. Yeah. Honey, we just tipped the 10%, wasn't that awesome? Um, so anyway. Do you, do you, think, do you think that the, 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 the this, our, our, our angle is, the, is, the, is the, the volume. Our angle is the volume, and we know behind I felt, I felt like that's where you're, you yeah. wanted to commit to that yeah. shot. Like, I thought that was your shot. So if we focus there, that might be the way to, yeah. I don't, don't know, know what to think. Like, my job <laughs> is, to, is to take risk yeah. behind you, and yeah. you figure out really fast whether or not that's the move. And if yeah. it's not the move, you're a good enough operator to pivot quickly and find the move. Yeah. And I, I have a sense that you'd be good at that, because you, 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 I can feel it. Yeah. But you know, just gotta slow it down a little bit and like and nail that shot. Right. I got three other moves behind this. Cool. I just didn't want to, you know, <laughs> not throw too much at you. There's, yeah, go there's for too it, much yeah. money here. All right. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. Yeah, it's a big ask, but anyway, that, yeah, that's my exactly. so a um, couple of follow up points. So um, the uh, I, I like your use of funds, right? You talked about, you know, development, salaries, marketing, yeah. and then you actually if I'm remembering correctly, it, it went really fast, right? Because there was yeah. probably more data than we could consume in those five minutes, so you packed a lot in. Um, there was some milestones, which I think is a yes, definitely 14, 000, 14, right. Yes, fourteen thousand, fourteen thousand users uh, generates so, a million. So there are your gross. targets that you're aiming for. So I thought that was very good. A lot yeah. of a lot of startup entrepreneurs don't put that in their investor pitches. You should, and you did. Thank you for that. Um, the the place where I got a little bogged down was you did your competition slide, which I really liked, by the way. And so you gave Bravo, Zip Tip, and Use Thanks. I think was the Use other. Use Thanks, yeah. Um, uh, bizarre name, but anyway. I and then you claimed you were different, but you were running through that so far fast that I couldn't figure out why you were different. Okay. And and I think that's a critical point, it right? Is. Of why and by the, it's wonderful that there is competition. That's not a bad thing. That's actually a good thing because competition proves there is a market. Um, but but why were you different didn't come across. Okay. Thank you. Um, and so I think the only other question that I had is again is. Daniel said, right, you've got the, you talk about 14,000 users. Mm -hmm. um, what's your, how do you, how are you going to get those 14,000 users? Again, I, I know to be fair, you only have five minutes and right. you've got a lot of, a lot of stuff going on, but that's kind of one of those unanswered question as an investor trying to prove the market. 14,000 users is a lot of users, right? Um, how are you going to do that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I can tell you if you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got time for a couple of questions from the audience. How do you deal with the valid proposition for the person giving the tip is that, that they get to feel like they, that person has been cleaning their room and get a dollar each day or a few dollars each day and they'll do an extra nice job the next day and they clean the room. Yeah. How, how, is that just abandoned? Does this technology never get credited back to the individual for their actual services? Yeah, that's, so they're, 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 that's, a, good, that's a good point other stuff that happens here too. So there's another website that's available within the hotel to access, so that the, the, the maids can access to see what the transaction is as it happens. So that's, the, that's behind the scenes. That's something that's gonna give that visibility and, and, some, and, and that piece of the puzzle as well. Thank you, that's a good question. And you heard some really good point though, is that essentially
the other ones are going to push it towards the people giving it tips may be less relevant because it may have a quick entrance into giving a tip without being exponential. Okay, thank you. But the question, I guess, is have you thought about the, a faster process for payment outside of just downloading, going to all the downloading that the business unit? I, 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 well, I, I didn't. I actually didn't think of that being a barrier because I, I noticed that people more and more are doing everything mobile, and part of that, uh, our part of that experience is download the app and put in your credentials. And if it's, I, if it's an iPhone app, it's already associated. There's, there's a lot of things that, that are happening already that people are doing if they want to do transactions on, on the thing. But I hope that's not a barrier. I hope you're wrong. All right, let's give Tony a big round. Of applause.